is very luxurious, and uh, sitting in the back seat, I was really impressed by how much room there was. Usually, um, there isn't a lot of room in the back seat, but I thought this is the perfect car for a young person out on the town um, so they can bring their friends with them. And uh, I was very impressed by how well it handled on the highway. It's a very cool car. Very happy to uh, be representing it. I think there uh, are definitely plans for me to return um, in the second half of April uh, for uh, what they're calling Chevy Night. And I believe there's also a car show that's happening at that time. Is it true there are rumors that you are about to, or you're in the midst of uh, collaborating with a Chinese director or a discussion about a possible collaboration with a Chinese film director? I wish that were true. I wish that were true. I'm waiting for the opportunity. I would love to work in China. I think um, the, the film industry here has a lot to offer in terms of uh, talent. Um, but uh, at this point, um, it's a matter of waiting for the phone to ring. Hopefully it will. Which director are you going to play? Um, I was trying to think of his name earlier. The gentleman who was responsible for the opening ceremonies at the Olympics. Um, oh, exactly, exactly. I'm a big fan. would love the opportunity. I'm a are you used to uh, the living arrangements and the food here? The living arrangements and the food here. Um, the food is spectacular. Um, I was told before I came um, to, to not expect the food in China to resemble at all uh, what we call Chinese food in the United States. Um, and that was good advice. Um, that said, I've had amazing Peking duck. I know Shanghai is famous for its uh, dumplings, which I've already had and will certainly have again before I leave. And uh, I've been treated um, very generously uh, by my hosts and very warmly by the fans. Have you learned any Chinese during your trip to China? I know uh, Ni Hao <laughs> and Xie Xie. It's a good start. <laughs> the question is quite sensitive. Are you satisfied with uh, your compensation for being the spokesperson of the Chevrolet Coupes? <laughs> <laughs> it's a delicate question. Um, you know, I would take any opportunity to, to come to China and spend time here. Um, so uh, the fact that uh, GM uh, graciously uh, offered to uh, establish this relationship um, was something that I, I didn't think about saying no to for a second. It was something that I knew in my heart was uh, the right kind of relationship and the right kind of experience for someone like myself. Um, I think that uh, an actor in, in, in the business today um, cannot focus simply on uh, the domestic market. No longer in the U.S. are we simply making TV shows or feature films for the U.S. We're thinking about foreign markets. We're thinking about our fans overseas. And it's important to establish yourself, uh, if you can, in those different arenas. Um, my relationship with Prison Break has given me tremendous international uh, exposure. Um, my relationship with, uh, with Shanghai GM um, has done the same. And that means for me not only the chance to travel and to talk to the fans and represent uh, a certain product that I'm proud to represent, but it also means that uh, I have increased access to the projects and directors that I'd like to have access to. Okay, thank you very much.